at its core, I feel like the play is about these two women who are just trying desperately to find control in this incredibly chaotic and out of control moment in their life. Emotionally, I think she's just looking for answers in something that's just otherwise senseless and probably just trying to grapple with her emotions of the moment by the diversion of this confrontation that she feels exist. How do we teach our children? How do we how do we accept our children? How to reach your children, how to talk to them, how to keep lines of communication open. How do we respond to them when they do something that's not, you know, within a conventional way of, of thinking and doing things and how do we how does that affect them? How to show them how to constructively channel what it is that they're feeling in a world that can be you know, appear to them to be chaotic. And I think that we all sometimes forget how impactful we can actually be. Maybe from the teacher's perspective, how do you deal with um, an educational landscape that might limit you from reaching a child or nurturing a child's creativity in a way that's protected by the confines of the educational system? There are amazing insurmountable pressures that our youth go through today. I think in a world that is sensationalizes so many things, it's, it's hard for them sometimes to figure out how to deal with things emotionally, who to go and talk to about things that they're feeling. Me personally, as an actor, I always hope that I've told someone's story truthfully and that there's something that touches them, maybe gets them thinking about a situation they hadn't thought about before in a different way or it's truthful and, and, and touches them in a way that, you know, can hopefully impact them in a positive way. You suspended my son over a story? I'm going to leave this with you. I'm going to step outside and let you read this in private. No, you will not. I think I should. No. You're going to want to process things without me here. It's disturbing.